Hi, I'm Leslie Walsh. We're here at Binder Park Zoo. And I'm Victor Jovanovich. Well, it's not really an animal choosing system. We actually follow a plan here at the zoo based on the space we have available, um, exhibit sizes, and as an, uh, uh, as an accredited zoo with the Association of Zoos and Aquariums, which is called the AZA, we actually participate in a number of what are called species survival plans. So those are plans whereby endangered animals are, are matched up on a breeding recommendation. So for example, our Mexican, wolf, our Mexican gray wolves here at the zoo, um, we have a male that has, um, has been matched with a female who arrived here to hopefully breed and would which will uh, make an impact to conservation of the species for the entire Mexican gray wolf population. So, so there's a little bit of science behind how we acquire our animals. We just don't collect them because they're cool, although they are cool. We work together with uh, other zoos. So when we have, um, you know, babies born, you know, those, ba those babies not might not live here for their whole life. So they may actually get sent out to another zoo to help with their species survival plan as well. Correct. There's a program that we've had here at the zoo for many years called Ticket to Adventure. It's a partnership um, where we work with other social service organizations in the area. Uh, for example, Big Brothers and Big Sisters is one, where we'll provide um, admission tickets that um, underserved families can actually go to those organizations, obtain them to visit the zoo. Um, we realize that not everybody can afford admission to the zoo and we want to make sure that we, we provide um, access to families that might not be able to come to the zoo. Yeah, we, we work with uh, many community organizations so we could do a, a beach cleanup throughout the summer. We do a highway cleanup. Uh, we participate in a butterfly network, our herp survey. Uh, piping plover projects. Conservation focused. We also do things on a, on a national, international level as well. We have sent staff over to Africa where they worked together um, and programs that, like for example, for um, Action for Cheetahs in Kenya where they might assess um, the habitat where cheetahs should be living. Um, and, and so we, we, we actually contribute conservation-wise, locally, statewide, nationally, and internationally. Also, we provide a lot of community events for, for folks of all ages to come out. We have um, events here like the Cheetah Chase, which is very family organized, uh, focused. We have a wine tasting event for adults. We have something called Zerific Kids Day, which is focused on kids and healthy lifestyle. And so we, we, try, to, we try to provide special events for, for all age groups um, to come in and enjoy the zoo in maybe a different way than just a visit. Another, another way that we, um, that we support Battle Creek is just economically. Um, we have in our open season perhaps 170 to 180 um, employees that work here. So those are folks that, that have jobs and take home paychecks and um, you know, supporting families and making a living. Um, we also, our guests that come from all over, um, not just the area, um, they will maybe perhaps stay and eat at a restaurant. They will buy a tank of gas or or a picnic lunch or go shopping or play around a golf in the area. Well, that's all trickle-down effect that, that helps support, that's dollars spent in our community that makes things better. So I think I believe in Battle Creek and it just, just dawned on me the other day when we had opening day and it doesn't matter if it's rain or shine, people will come out and see the Sioux. I, and the, the sense of community is strong. I, I mean, I saw a line of people within opening day just to see our Sioux and experience what we could offer and that sense of people that people will come out at any time just to enjoy our area. I think that's why I believe in Battle Creek. You know, I believe in Battle Creek because Battle Creek believes in us. And this zoo was actually started by a small group of volunteers that thought Battle Creek deserves a zoo. Battle Creek should have a zoo. And they made it happen over 40 years ago. And, and it was a small petting zoo. And look at what we are today. For 433 acres, we have over 230,000 guests that visit annually. And, and we are a destination, not just in Southwest Michigan, but in the region and around the country. And I think that is um, a tribute to the kind of people that live in Battle Creek and still support our zoo, love our zoo, and um, is, Battle Creek is just a wonderful place to be. It's a wonderful place to live and work and play.